hello guys welcome back to my youtube channel in this video we'll be looking at um skin correcting your images in photoshop using a lot of ways and so i have i have some particular ways i do that in photoshop capture one gives you the option to skin match your images or skin correct your images before photoshop but for those who don't use capture one people use lightroom a lot people use um camera raw so i'm aiming this video at you guys so before we get right into this video kindly subscribe to my youtube channel Turn on that bell notification icon and leave a comment down in the section below um, if you have any concerns concerning this video. So before anything else, hit that intro. let's just get right to what we have to do today in this video so first things first i'll pick up my lasso tool with a feather of zero then i'll make a rough sketch right so this rough sketch as you can see i'm trying to avoid some parts i am not going way in there i'm going just here right so i'm trying to avoid as much as of the shadow um, parts of the face as possible i hold ctrl g on the keyboard to duplicate the selection come back to the background layer and do the same thing for the skin so if you're fast enough you would realize uh, from the answer that the face looks different from the skin but to confirm that i'm just doing these th these two things to show you the difference in the hues of the face and that of the skin so hold control on the keyboard select this layer filter blur average so average does this takes every information and gives you an average color selection or average color or whatever it is hold control on the keyboard again and click on your layer one same thing goes sorry and average so we have this right now i'm um, looking at this when i pick up my eyedropper tool so let's just click on the color selections for color picker tool right when i tap here look at the information it's giving me so i have a hue of 19 saturation of 42 brightness of 69 when i tap on that of the skin i have a hue of 23 saturation of 43 and brightness of 64 so this is the difference so we're not really looking at um the saturation and brightness but i think they are in play but the most important part is the hue right this is what is causing the difference between that of the face and that of the skin so having this in mind let's just group this having this in mind we uh, i use two tools in photoshop in fixing these images or these problems so color correcting these either i use my hue and saturation layer adjustment or the selective color adjustment there's a third option where you use gradient map to fix in that so let's just select this downside or this down part of the skin right a rough selection using the quick selection tool tap on the hue and saturation layer and you have this quick selection down there so let's just keep the edges soft i don't really like it is so i'll feather this to let's say five pixels right now bring this back and pick up your color selection to tap on this it sends you into the reds right but we want specific parts of the red so you pick up this eyedropper to tap on where you want to work on and it sends you into the particular range of reds you'll be working with if i should send this here you realize it has changed the range has changed so i want this side depending on where you think um, it's a good selection or a good representation of the color you want to work with i think looking at this side is better because this is more yellowish and this is more reddish right let me just move this this way and you see what's happening so we want we want to move this into the reddish zone right so i think 
minus 1 will be good reduce the saturation a little bit right then the lightness think i'll brighten it up and just take a look at this so this is the before and this is the after before and after before and after so this is looking too uh, uh um, worked up for you just reduce your opacity to keep a little bit of the natural feel from the camera right so this is the before and after now let's use the selective color adjustment so with the selective color adjustment i'll hold alt on the keyboard and drag the max onto this turn off the hue and saturation layer double tap on the selective color and you work with the yellows right you're, you're trying to change this because this looks more yellowish this use this looks more yellowish than the face so um i'll tackle the reds so i'll push in some reds because i don't want it to look yellowish like we said i'm pushing some reds and this is what we are getting so far so before and after before and after maybe just take away some yellows right so this before and after before and after so that's about it guys this is literally what i do in photoshop if i don't do any of the skin matching in capture one so is either i use the hue and saturation layer adjustment or use the selective color adjustment or use both right so both works Always remember to reduce your opacity whenever you're done and yes, you, you would get to correcting your images in Photoshop. Well, that's about it. If you're here and you like the content, smash that like button, leave a comment down in the section below, then I'll know what you guys want because I'm here for you guys in 2020 to give you a lot of videos from your own request. Thanks for watching this video once again and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.